Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be doing a really quick abstract background in the new Dina Wakely Media Journal. So this is the new blue journal that Dina Wakely's just released for Creative Asian 2020 and it's got three substrates in it and one of the substrates is denim. And I am absolutely loving working on it. It's a beautiful colour and um, I just find it much easier to use than craft, for example. So I'm starting out with some white paint and you could use gesso. I just have run out of gesso and I'm scraping it across using one of the media tools and just making some texture in the background. I am using my heat tool on it just to dry it off because I'm not very patient. It doesn't take all that long to dry though because you're really putting on a really thin layer of paint so um, it doesn't take too long and for the technique that I'm doing here I don't really mind that the paint is damp in the background it doesn't need to be perfectly dry so now I'm just scraping on some different colors and I'm using sky and marine which are both um, Dina Wakely uh, heavy body media paints and then using a tool to just scribe into it just doing some really loose sort of journaling scribble, scribbly um, acemic writing into the, the paint and you can see it sort of scrapes up down to the white layer so you can get that texture and there's two reasons for doing that one is I really like that sort of loose lines over the top and the second reason is it gives a little bit of texture to the page so because I've worked in the blue tones I wanted to add a, a pop of contrasting color so using a little bit of color theory I decided that I would use the opposite color and I'm going in with some tangerine some orange I'm just sort of spreading the orange out just using my paintbrush to make some random dots and dabs and I've kind of followed down that line but I'm going back in and placing the paint in three different areas in my page I tend to do that when I'm working um, is work in a triangle shape because that draws your eye around the page and I'm also sort of leading it off the page by going off the side and I'm going in and just drying that so that's basically my my background done it was really simple just scraping on some paint and then doing some scribble over the top and then dabbing on a bit of contrast color I am going in with stabilo or pencil and just adding in a little bit more journaling um, over the background just to add in a little bit of black and also adding in some random little lines down the bottom just to balance up the page a little bit so when I did this page I really liked what it was but I am still very much I suppose not truly abstract um, I find it hard just to leave it as is I like to have a focal image on my in, on my page somewhere so because I'm not confident at drawing figures, uh, Dina Wakely's always got the answer and she's got this wonderful stencil with these really loose lined um, faces that um, you can stencil over. So I'm just using some black gesso and pouncing up and down. Please excuse my um, camera going up and down too. It's uh, what happens when you've got the tripod just above where you're working. So you just pounce up and down. Try not to get too much paint on your... Um, sponge as you do that and d pound directly up and down and you should spread it out because you're working on to the denim you do need a little bit more paint to get it a little bit more opaque but not very much particularly something as fine as this I'm also using the paintbrush to just um, spread out those lines a little bit and join them to the top and bottom edge so those faces aren't floating in the middle of the air they're actually grounded and connected it was just pure chance that when I put this stencil down it actually really um, captured those three spots of the orange um, in both or all, all three faces um, that was pure coincidence um, and I only really noticed it when I came back to look at it afterwards so um, you can certainly pre-plan that by looking at your stencils and having an idea of what you want to do um, but I hadn't so I'm going in with another stencil because I love having text on my page and I really love these two. 
hey you don't overthink because I tend to overthink things and one of the things I was doing while this was happening was this is too simple I haven't done enough and I was sort of trying to overcomplicate it but I just really liked it the way it was just checking on the back because again this is the first time me using the denim in this and I want to see if anything come through and it did not it was just beautiful the other thing for those people who um, have used the canvas in the old journals would be really pleased to know the denim doesn't shrink so if you like having your pages all the same size the denim will stay the same so it's a great substrate to use I'm absolutely in love with this new journal I've nearly used one of the signatures already so I'm, I'm steaming through it thank you so much for watching I've got lots more of these videos um, in a um, playlist called Dina Wakely Creativation 2020 please um, like and subscribe if you'd like to see some more of the new releases that are coming out until next time bye for now